The storm Sunday night caused terrible damage, and not just hail damage. This Lockwood home was completely flooded. As you can see, this basement where I'm kneeling, just completely inundated with water damage. And for Lockwood resident Brandy Montgomery, this is just a terrible case of deja vu. I'm flooded, again. We have completely lost everything. This is a scene most of us will never encounter. But for Brandy Montgomery, yard, the tracks. Her home has been flooded not once, but twice in a matter of a month. We started to get a little relaxed. We thought everything was done. And then Sunday, everything flooded again. So it's just a nonstop worry. When the Yellowstone River jumped its banks during the historic floods back in June, water began pouring into Brandy's home and keeping her rental dry has been a nonstop job ever since. Over a month and a half of this happening, it's getting old. It's tiring, be up every couple of hours, turn the pump on. And just when she thought the worst was behind her, on Sunday, it was deja vu. It's all the way to the top of the bank. The streets flooded yet again, but unlike her neighbors, water is also rising up through the floor and pouring out of the walls of her basement. Just shows up. No idea where. Her basement is all but destroyed. I don't know any neighbors that have any situation like this. Damage has made an entire area of her home completely unusable. Figuring out how to keep the street from flooding is the first step. Me and the neighbors are all getting tired of dealing with the water. We would just like to see the county maybe do just do something about it, or at least help to attempt to do something. The next is getting her home back to normal and making sure this isn't a regular occurrence. This shouldn't be an every year thing that all the houses around here flood. For now though, as she waits for help, all she can do is keep working and pray the water stops. A lot of frustration, a lot of aggravation, a lot of hurt, heartache, a lot of worrying, a lot of stress. In Lockwood, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.